Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the finale of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, The Story. This is the credits. And I pretty much am recording this pretty much just after the fact of everything that I've done. Pretty much just to ask you, as viewers, what would you like to see next? Because I do have a couple games that I have I would like to play, but I would like your feedback from this. Because I am an RPG fan. I'm very much so an RPG fan. So much so that my, my plan was to play Final Fantasy 3 for the Super Nintendo, which is most commonly known as Final Fantasy 6. Which I think had one of the best stories of a Final Fantasy game to date. And that's including Final Fantasy 7, 6, you know, Final Fantasy 7, 4, all those. I think the story in 6 trumped him. Granted, there wasn't as much character development as in some of the other games, but just the, the world and the story of the game itself was amazing. I especially liked how, like, halfway through the, uh, the game, you pretty much begin playing in a whole different world. <laughs> Which is cool, you know? Um, but I want to know what you guys... What you guys would like to see. Because uh, I do... I would like to play to play whatever you guys want me to, to, to play. So, um, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the, uh, the comments below. Or get a hold of me either on Facebook or Twitter. And drop me in, you know, what you would like to see me play there. Because I'm always open for ideas, and I like being interactive with my viewers. I haven't had that opportunity as much yet, but I'm looking forward to it. You know, I would love to just start getting to know my viewers a little bit more. So. Um. Yeah, just let me know what you guys would like to see. And thank you to everybody who made this game, because it is amazing. It is an amazing game. So thank you, Nintendo. Thank you, uh, uh, thank you, Super Psy Guy, for you know doing such a badass remix of the thing. And now I'll really be able to thank people at least try to name names. Oh look, look who's right at the beginning of the parade. The only time you really get to see this man in the entire game, and there he is. Thank you to Chiro, Chihiro BG Tora Yokiro. oh man, I'm gonna butcher these names so bad, Kinsi Metsuroa, I don't know, uh, thank you to the event designers, and the battle designers, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to freaking pronounce these names, I've given up on that already, oh wow. Thank you to the battle programmers, which, I mean, the battle system in this was great. And I still, to this day, I want to see a Mario RPG 2. I don't consider Paper Mario as an actual sequel to these games, just for the simple fact that it wasn't made by the same people. You know, and uh, you don't visit any of the areas that you did in the previous game, or this one. There was no Moleville, you know, the only place you really revisit and it's completely redone is the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> Which is alright and cool and cool and all that, but I personally wanted to see them redo this game. You know, or not redo it, but come out with a sequel. Maybe make uh, Luigi a playable character. Um, you could have added another freaking couple new guys. Maybe have Toad, actually, as a freaking playable character. It would have been really cool. But unfortunately, we didn't get... Uh, we didn't get the, the, the sequel that we also wanted. We got Paper Mario on the N64. Which, I'm not knocking Paper Mario. It was a good RPG game, but it was not... It was not Super Mario RPG. You didn't have that full party. You didn't have that group adventure feel to it like you did in this. Because you're 
Paper Mario, you're running around as Mario the whole goddamn time. You know, you, yeah, you pick up occasional people, but they're just behind you, and they help out, assist you in combat. They don't actually freaking... They aren't playable characters, per se. You know? You can't, uh... Like in this one, you, each person had their own freaking set of attacks, their own freaking weapons, their own armors. You don't get that in... Paper Mario. All you get is Mario equipment. And so it's alright and everything, but it, it just wasn't the same. It's not what I wanted to see <coughs> from a sequel of the game. So I'm hoping that uh, they either A, redo this game, and they probably won't though, because Square Enix has the rights to this game. So they won't just be like, Oh, let's make another one, because this fan base is so great. No, no, they won't, because it's fucking squares. Bunch of frickin' cheap bastards sometimes. Oh, that's nice. For John Johnny Jones. Oh, and now we get the nighttime parade. Oh, come on, get some American names so I can start thanking some American people. Oh, let me thank some YouTubers, since I have this opportunity. Um, thank you to the Runaway guys. You guys were the the uh, first Let's Players on YouTube to actually open my eyes to Let's Playing. Um, notably, out of the, the, the trio, Chugga Conroy, I watched a lot of his playthroughs of different things. Like, um, this, uh, his playthrough of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I watched him play a few other games, and he's just an all-around cool guy by the sounds of it. I'd love to hang out with him at some point. Um, I'd like to thank Josh Jepson, who is pretty much uh, one of my inspirations, just by how he presents himself on the camera. I'd also like to, you know, in that uh, respect, I'd also like to thank Mark LaPlier, because he is truly an inspiration to me. Just how he... You can tell he loves what he's doing, and I want to aspire to be like that. But anyway, now I'm rambling, because we're at the very end of the game, and everything. I, I can't say how much I love this game, because it's, it, it, it's amazing. Just in a, in a time when the internet wasn't the big thing, and PC gaming was just starting to get its foot out the door... Games like this made me feel like there was hope for the, for games in the future because there was a lot of games that I couldn't I couldn't play just for simple lack of skill. And this was the first game that opened up my eyes to RPGs, which in you know which is a whole different style of gaming because in like regular action games you uh, pretty much you fight in some linear and you have a mission that you you do in in an RPG game how you progress through the story is by your own choice how long it takes you and everything i don't know if i'm making any sense but it's like in, the, in terms of leveling up you know you could sit there and level yourself up to make sure you that you can take on everything or you could be one of those speedrunners, and like I kind of did in this, and just freaking blah. But anyway, I've been rambling. So, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Thank you for watching Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I'm Bink Deadpool, and we will see you in the next video series. Till then, peace out.